You feeling any better? All right. I'm feeling better. I mean, I don't know how I would have felt if it didn't happen to the baby. When, um, when I was pregnant with you, and I was running around and I was so busy, your father was so worried about me that, that, mm -hmm. that I was too anxious. And I, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't explain to him the energy I had for carrying you. You know, Mom, it's so strange. Every once in a while I have these, uh, well, I, I have nightmares about what happened. And the kid, like, gives me this swift kick. It's like yeah. it's, it yeah. happens at exactly the time that I'm having the nightmare. And it's, it's not that it's funny. It's just that it almost tries to let me know that well, that I don't, I don't have any reason to be afraid. Good. I think the most important thing for you to remember is that with everything you've been through, you haven't quit loving this baby that you're carrying, not for a second. That's the most important thing. Like, I had the amnio. We should get the results back in a couple of days. So I think, well, I hope everything's going to be all right. I think so. Why don't you try to take it easy for a couple? I know that the, your fall didn't hurt your baby, but I think it traumatized you a little. Yeah, well, I think I have been pushing myself, I mean, to prove something, I don't know what. I think you were trying to prove that he couldn't get the best of you. You were trying to prove that he couldn't take over your life, and you did. Have I? You know what? You're the strongest person I know. Oh, you lie. You're the strongest person I know. <laughs> <laughs> really. We have a lot of love in our family, Mom. Most of it comes from you. I think that's what makes us strong. The uh, nurse asked me to give you this. A list of the hospital personnel and the registered visitors at the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of names. Huh? No kidding. Good luck. Listen, I'm going to uh, step outside and check this out. Uh, if, if you need me, I'll be down the hall, okay? Okay. If it's all right, uh, I'll stay with you for a while. Oh, all right. I mm -hmm. can have this company. I'm going to talk to your father. Mm. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. You simply amaze me, you know that? Strength you have. Where you get it from to go through all this, I'll never know. I learned it from you. Sure. And Mama. And I did. Oh, be quiet. Shh. Uh, I just uh, walked in. Hi. Are your ears burning? Oh, well, I mean, I could leave if you want to keep talking leave. about me. Leave. Get up. <laughs> Actually, I was coming in to see if I would get your father out of here so you could get some rest. Oh, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. I, don't be such a hero. You need some rest. You look exhausted. Well, I could sleep for a while, I guess. Can we get you anything before we leave? No, but uh, you could answer something for me. Sure. What's that? Well, I couldn't help noticing yesterday the way that you were both dressed. I just wanted to know what was going on. I don't think we were dressed in any particular way. Oh, Mom, come on. Well, actually, I, I suppose we were. Well, if you're doing what I think you're doing, then... I just want to let you know that I approve. You do? Mm-hmm. I mean, that you guys have this sort of, you know, mysterious, sort of romantic game going on. I think it's neat. Can't hide anything from this one. Mm-hmm. Well, it's so wonderful to see the two of you together again. And I just want to let you know that it's nice to see one wonderful thing come out of all this mess. Probably will be soon. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking it's kind of funny that Eden thought we were involved in some sort of romantic fantasy. Well, then it'd be a fantasy we should start about one thing. It brought us closer together, didn't it? I don't think we should push. Oh, oh. 
push me, but... Not you, never may push. no. But as much as I hate the reason that we're here, the place has brought back some wonderful memories, just spending some time here with you. I just wish I could relax and enjoy it a little bit. Well, when this uh, madness is over, maybe, and I'm, I'm not pushing, maybe you realize that we belong. What is it? Crystal's going into the hotel across the street. That's quite a character here, friend. Business as usual, huh? Not quite. Look. Father.